Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> me, 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 me. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Guys, today we're going to do yet another taste test. Why, Mikey, son? Another one? That's correct. Let's face it. I like tasting foods. I love food. What are we tasting today, guys? Something small, something, something quick. Munchies, peanuts, flaming hot. I've never had them. I am not a huge uh, nut-eating kind of fella. I do like your typical planters, salted peanuts. I like paydays. I like uh, pecan pie. Even sometimes uh, those pecan logs or peanut logs or whatever they're called, those are okay. Um, just not really a big peanutty. Uh, nut, different kind of nut kind of guy. I don't like them. I don't know why. I just don't. But we're going to try these right here. <whistles> Lots going on. Lots going on. Let me break out my handy dandy multi tool. Yes, I could rip the package open. That's what she said. <laughs> but I'm going to cut it open here. Nice and neat. Nice, neat, and pretty. Look at that pretty cut. Alright. Let's do a smell test. Hmm. Smells like peanuts. Don't really smell no flaming hot anything. Not super hungry. I did just, I had two big bowls of homemade vegetable soup a little while ago, and then I just now made for lunch a bologna sandwich. I'm not super hungry, but I'm going to eat a few here. Now, I don't expect these to really be flaming hot. We'll give them a shot. Not flaming hot. But they had a really good taste right as I put them in my mouth. Mmm. Definitely. Tastes like your basic salted peanuts, but they do have a little bit of that flaming hot seasoning going on. Just a, I mean, there's no heat at all, but it's a spice. It's more of a spice kind of feeling. Pretty good. Not bad. I've seen these a million times in the store and just never really thought about getting them. I see I'm a sucker for salted planters peanuts and I don't think these are planters or they obviously say planters. But they taste pretty decent. And as a saltaholic, <clears throat> which I try not to be too much anymore, but I am. You can see these are covered pretty good. You're not going to be able to see it on camera, I'm sure. Mm hmm. But they got a lot of something on them. Mm. Mm. That's nice.
Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of things on your store shelves have the flaming hot. You know, labeling. But they're not flaming hot. And flaming hot, you expect to be going, huh? Ooh, boy, that's warm. Holy smoke. Oh my god. Mm. What it should say is lightly uh, spiced or something, you know? But that don't sell. Most of the things that you get off your typical store shelves are going to be roughly around the same heat levels. Um, they just don't sell like super hot stuff normally. You got to order order that kind of stuff online or go to specialty stores stuff like that but that first initial mm. As soon as you put a handful of peanuts in your mouth on, and they hit your tongue, mm, that's a really good flavor. I mean, of course, again, I'm tasting a lot of sodium, but obviously there's a different taste going on. And I can feel it now just a little bit. I still won't say there's any heat, but you can de definitely taste that spice mixing around there. And right as you put a handful of these in your mouth and it hits those taste buds, mmm, that's really good. Of course, then it kind of quickly washes off. Mmm. It ain't bad, guys. If you want something just a smidgen different, just a regular, than just your regular tasting, kind of salty peanut, don't be scared to get these. They're not flaming hot. Just that little bit of spice on them that makes you go, these are a little different. Yeah, not bad, man. Good little snack. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of sodium, and I believe even even for the whole package, the calories are up there. But like you're being like you're really active, you're out on a, a jog or a bike ride or doing some activities and stuff. It'd be nice to have these to give you a little boost. You know, there's always protein in them. I'm pretty sure 20 grams for the whole pack. It's pretty good. 20 grams of protein. Uh, 4 grams of sugar for the whole pack. 24% dietary fiber for the whole pack. Carbs for the whole pack is 5%. Of course, there's iron, potassium, no cholesterol, 670 milligrams of sodium for the whole pack, mm. man, that's really good. Mm. 480 calories for the whole pack. Mm. If I could experience that first hit where it hits your tongue every time for the rest of my life, that would be great. Mm. It's 
because by the time you do a couple of chews, it's kind of already washed off the peanuts. But yeah, you get down to the bottom of the bag, you start getting all the the real coated stuff. Lots of sodium. Maybe more flaming hot on there. Who knows? But those are really coated. Probably can't see them again. Mmm. I'm really happy I tried these. Frito Lay Munchies Peanuts Flame or Not. Those are pretty dang good, guys. You like your your typical salty planters peanuts and you like a little bit of spice on there again it's just a little bit I can feel kind of in there of course dumping the whole pack just you know you get all the stuff in there so if you like your basic salty planters peanuts with a little bit of a little bit of surprise to them those are good I'm going to give those a solid 4.8 out of 5. 4.8, yeah. If they could come up with a way to infuse all that onto the peanuts where it didn't just wash off really quick in your mouth, 5 out of 5. Mm, that was really good. I recommend. Go try those out, guys. Pretty good stuff. All right, well, that does it for this taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my channel. I try to keep things going and flowing and diverse and a lot of a lot of different topics and things. And the basic rule of YouTube is really when you create a channel, you're supposed to kind of stick with one topic. I don't. As you can tell, if you go and look at my playlist and then... Uh, also on my cycling videos are just in the basic video section I do a lot of things <coughs> that may be one reason why my channel hasn't grown that much you know I have over 500 videos and I only have like 140 I think seven subscribers Maybe it's because I offer too much content of you know that's all over the place, or maybe it's just that I'm an old man and no one cares about watching an old man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You either you either catch on on social media and YouTube and all that, or you don't. There's no rhyme, no reason. Uh, if you're female, you got it easy. If you're female, you'll get a thousand subscribers a day. Easy. Sometimes uh, things just don't take off. But uh, I try to stay positive. I try to keep putting out my content. 
because it's uh, gives me something to do. It's interesting. It's fun. And I like to create a little bit, you know, it's, uh, it, it keeps, keeps your mind going and it allows you to kind of put your creative juices out there and, and do things. So anyway, guys, I hope you support me. I hope you like my channel. I do it all for free. I do it all for fun. Do me a favor, share my video, share my channel, uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate it all. I hope you appreciate my family friendly environment and uh don't forget guys get up get out get rad do it to it even when eating a flaming bag of nuts and i'll leave it at that we'll see y'all later Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!